A sled is a special device which is fitted to a fishing net to prevent sea lions from being caught. They are fitted towards the end of the net before the cod end where all the squid end up. The devices have been carefully developed and tested over the years by scientists both in New Zealand and overseas, but essentially there are two key components of a sled. The grid, which is designed to be big enough for a squid to get through, but too small for a sea lion, and the kite, which is the bit of the net at the top, which is held up by buoys. The kite creates a hole at the top of the net, and if any sea lion should find itself inside, it quickly discovers that it can't get through the grid and swims out at the top of the net through the opening created by the hole. Every single fishing vessel in the Auckland Island squid fishery is fitted with a sled and Ministry of Primary Industry officials regularly inspect sleds to make sure they are being used properly. On top of that, Ministry observers come along on 40% of all fishing trips to make sure that any sea lion caught is properly recorded. In 2011, there were no sea lions observed caught in the fishery. There have been concerns that interactions with sled grids may injure sea lions, but based on the new scientific evidence presented by the Ministry of Primary Industries in 2011, it is now accepted that sleds pose no such risk. The white bits you see there are little pieces of plankton and debris that is just showing up in the light of the camera. And you can see just coming out of the top of the sled is a sea lion, eyes reflected in the light, and there he goes swimming away. And you can see he's quite relaxed, doesn't appear to be too stressed or in any particular hurry. So the view we have now is of sea lions on the outside of the sled looking in. And the stuff that you see there in the top of the net, the part of the net called the kite, is squid and other fish that didn't quite make it through into the cod end. And uh, you can see the sea lions just swimming around, picking at the little pieces of squid there. And you can see what an easy activity it is for these animals. They're, they're quite amazing swimmers. Um, in fact, female sea lions have recorded the deepest and longest duration dives for any otarid. It's the seals with the little external ears. They can dive up to 600 metres down and stay under for up to 12 minutes. And there we go. There's another one just having a little duck dive over the top of the net there. Here comes another one, and you can see just carefully plucking out their own little pieces of free lunch there. Now we're closer to the bottom, and you can see little bits of sand there being uh, kicked up from the ocean floor. So just keep an eye on the top of the sled there, the top of the net there, because there he is. There he is. So that's a... Uh, a uh, fur seal in this instance and he's just come out of the top of the net and he's on his way out and he could see to his delight that the top of the net's filled with bits of squid so there he is in there obviously having quite a good time and off he goes and again fairly relaxed sort of movements there just shuffling off at quite a languid pace